Okay, we're back, and I am with uh, Carl Knobloch. Correct. Knobloch. Well, welcome, Carl. And we're going to be talking about Preston Castle, and there's, I find Preston Castle so fascinating. I mean, first of all, how old is Preston Castle? About 113 years old. It was finished in 1894. Okay, and it was built specifically for youth um, detention or... Right, it was built as a youth uh, correction center for youthful offenders. How many, how many back then, how many when they moved uh, in, occupy? Well, they moved in in June of 1894, they moved in seven inmates. By June of 1895, they had 175 boys living in the castle. Those juvenile delinquents back then, I wonder what, what would they go get in trouble for? I was just looking at a list last night of uh, about 300 boys that came in in the first five years. And about 80 of them were for burglary, oh. about 80 of them for larceny, oh. and about 80 of them for just simply being homeless. Oh, yeah. Victim of circumstances, huh? So um, we're going to be talking about um, uh, the what is called tour season is opening up? Yes. Okay, let's talk a little bit about that. Starting uh, with this Saturday, the first Saturday in April, mm -hmm. we will be doing uh, tours of the Preston Castle mm -hmm. on Saturdays from 10 a.m. till 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, on the first, second, and third Saturdays of the month, and we'll do that through September. Okay. Um, and do you have ghost tours and stuff? We do paranormal tours also. Paranormal tours? Yes, overnight. Is there activity there? The paranormal folks say there is. Wow. And when are those? Those are on selected, uh, Saturday, generally Friday or Saturday nights, okay. and we schedule several of those a year, and you can find those on the website. Yeah, there's some fundraisers. I've been to several fundraisers out there, um, dinners, and, you know, there's been We've got a number of big events this year. The first one is the golf tournament, uh, okay. the 1st of May. Mm -hmm. Then over the summer, uh, we'll have a movie night on the patio behind the castle on July 11th. What are you going to be showing? Uh, we show, last year we showed... Black and whites, you mean? Like no, they, and they, there was a movie that was actually filmed at the castle, oh. then never aired any place except for the film festival over in uh, Calaveras County. Wow. And we showed that, and we showed the segment of The Great Escape which was a reality TV mm -hmm. show mm -hmm. that was filmed at the castle and aired on TNT Network. Have there been other, have there been movies shot there? Yes. Okay. Uh, we get a, quite a few people. In fact, the BBC is coming later this month mm -hmm. to film for three days at the castle. Really? And they're focusing on the history of the castle, the dark side of the castle, the bad things that mm -hmm. happen at the castle, and mm -hmm. then the paranormal aspect of the castle. You know, the castle is so beautiful, and I am so happy that um, the, there's a committee that is um, driven to restore it because for so long it sat there with those broken windows right. and it just was deteriorating and the castle is really beautiful I, I golf and i love on castle oaks on the back nine when you're on that par three and you're standing up there and you look over and you see the castle it's just it's just breathtaking it's really really there are some unparalleled views of the castle from over there at mm -hmm. castle oaks golf course yeah so um i know that there's a lot of restoration has taken place is do you still need to do more restoration? We need to do a lot of restoration, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of structural damage mm -hmm. uh, inside the castle mm -hmm. uh, from the roof being off for so many years because when they closed it in 1960, they sold the roof. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't until the late 1990s that they put the roof back on again. Mm -hmm. Well, in that 40 years, uh, the water coming in did a lot of structural damage to the interior of the castle that we still have to re repair and rehabilitate. Right. It's really interesting. If you haven't had an opportunity to walk through the castle, you really should. I mean, it's just very intriguing. I know I've been um, to Alcatraz as well. Right. And there's just something mysterious about those rooms and the history, right. about the people who, you know, have been there. Now, when Preston was up and running. Um, you were saying that they raised a lot of their own food and they made their own shoes. Right. And this is actually the, the, one of the shoes that they made. And go ahead and, and uh, I'll flip it over. You can tell the story. Okay. At the, where the golf course is now was the Preston Farm. The okay. boys raised all their own food, mm -hmm. crops, uh, pigs, goats, mm -hmm. uh, chickens, the whole thing. One of the things they did is they took the leather from the cows and made their own shoes. Right. So this shoe is an actual brand new shoe that was made in the Preston 
cat or the Preston School shoe shop. Right. You see this notch in the heel back here, which is characteristic of an inmate's shoe. Mm -hmm. They did that on purpose so that if the boy escaped and they were trying to track them across the fields and so on, they would leave a very unique footprint. I think that's interesting. And what a well-made shoe, too, my goodness. So um, other than raising their own food and all that, did they... Um, make things that they sold, that kind of stuff. You know, like I've, I've heard today, you know, they make license plates and that kind of thing. Or was no, it, it was pretty much sort of restricted self to self-sufficiency. They made yeah. bricks uh, that were used in construction mm -hmm. at the site. Got it. Um, they ran a refractory. They did metal work. Mm -hmm. They did auto repair. How many bricks are in that building? I, that one I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Be like one of those contests. How many jelly beans are in that jar? Um, so real quick in closing, um, you, you, there's going to be a book signing. Yes, this Saturday we have a unique event. Uh, Gary Stout, a local author, lives out of the Fiddletown area, wrote this book uh, about the castle. It's historically based, but it's a fictional novel mm -hmm. about the life of a young man as an inmate mm -hmm. at Preston Castle. And Gary's been so kind that he's going to come down and do a book signing from 11 to 12 at the Castle okay. when we open for tours this weekend. Okay, boy, we could just talk forever about Preston Castle. Thanks for being with us, Carl. We do need to transition over to Richard, who's with Jackie Harrison Harmon.